So let's just say that your first scenario is that your fan doesn't turn on. You turn on the thermostat, the fan does not turn at all. The first question is, do you have power? What does that mean, like power to the RV or power to yeah. the furnace? All the furnace it, should yeah. be going to a distribu distribution panel, should be on a 15 amp circuit. Is that fuse good? Yeah, yeah. Do you have power to the furnace? You got red and black. Red's positive, black's ground. So you've got to have power to the furnace. So if you have power to the furnace, the next question is, do you have power coming back down from the thermostat to the furnace? We do have power to the thermostat, from the thermostat down to the furnace. Then the next thing we're gonna do basically is maybe even put the two blue wires together just to make sure. Yeah, because the thermostat is a, basically a switch, right? Right. Turning the, the temperature up and that just basically just twist those wires together. If everything's good, power down to the furnace. And you do wanna make sure you have good voltage. A lot of people dry camping think you can power up a battery in about two hours of running the generator. Once this thing gets below nine and a half volts, it's not gonna do anything. So it locks out. Yep, okay. So at that point in time, once you know you got good power down to it and from the thermostat, put the two blue wires together. If it doesn't turn on and run at all, at that point, we know that we either have a problem with the blower motor or the board. Now, there's not a lot you can do to get in here and check it because it's kind of buried in there. Uh, so at that point in time, we know we have to pull the furnace out. And then once you get the furnace out, you take the top case off, just like what we got shown down here. And basically now you have access to everything. Okay. You've got a red and black wire coming in. Okay. And then the other two red and blacks are the ones that go to directly to the blower motor. The question is, do you have, uh, with the thermostat jumped out and you have power, do you have power between the red and the black? Meaning that, are, are you getting power out of the board? Out of the board to, to the blower. Got it. So if you do have power here, then we know the board's good. Yeah. And the blower motor's bad. Um, you want, might also, considering the age of the unit, make sure the blower wheel turns. So at that point in time, you can see where we're at. Okay. The board is pretty easily changed at this point. The blower motor assembly is we got about a dozen screws. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And about eight clips. But after that, the blower assembly can come out. Thank you.